<laughs> Mafia 1. Mafia 1, the definitive edition, in my own opinion, happens to be one of the most badass games that ever came out in 2020. Now, I have played this many, many times, and I've also finished this many, many times. And was it worth the wait at the time? You damn right. But anyway, Mafia 1, the remake, alright? You play as a character known as Tommy Angelo, which is the protagonist in the original Mafia, Mafia 1 also. So, and um, basically he was a taxi driver, and then after that then he turned to crime by joining the Mafia. And um, speaking of which, um, here is the cutscene, so here, here we go. Tommy. Thomas Angelo. Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just a coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, yeah. That on the phone, you might have a proposition for me. That's right. But if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. So pretty much that uh, Tommy joins the Mafia, he joins the Salieri crime family. But later on though, this is pretty much based of when not only that Tommy joins the Mafia, but he also rats them out at the end of the game and all that sort of stuff. But here, there is a scene here as well where um, Tommy actually meets um, Sam and... Um, Polly, which are two of the coolest um, antagonists in Mafia 1 and also part of the Salieri crime family. So here's a clip right here of how Tommy actually meets them. I mostly drove nights because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts when I first met Polly and Sam. Son of a bitch! Watch out! Get up, Polly! There's a taxi here! We'll be okay! Move it! Come on! We're through. Anywhere. Fast! I got a gun pointed at you. They catch up, we're dead. But you don't get to walk away. And this is where Tommy meets the man himself, Don Salieri. Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of time he helped us. This, uh, taxi. At your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. 
Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar of yours. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. So pretty much Salieri um, gives Tommy the job by take by going down with Morello's crew and pretty much um, attacking him. And then you then Tommy goes back to Salieri's bar and tells him that it's all done and therefore he joins the family. But anyway, this is pretty much the um, pretty much the worst part here. So not only that when Tommy you know gets all cozy with the family. But later on though, he somehow turns on them and pretty much gets killed in the ending of the game. Now, which is probably the most depressing endings of any other Mafia game. But, um, we're going to show you that right now because I don't want to, I don't want to, don't want to make this video long. I'm just showing you a few things about it and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, I'm going to show you um, the ending of the game. And you will see two certain people also in the ending of the game. So, here we go. He gets us out of bed in the morning. But lets us chase our dreams. Even when they're moving too fast to catch. And it keeps us from falling over. When we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Tommy! That's okay. You're safe now. Remember that money, jobs, even best pals will come and go. But family, family is forever. So that's pretty much the ending there of Mafia 1, the Divinity Edition. Paul Tommy Angelo uh, gets killed, but not only, but not only, but not only by two random people though. It was by they were killed by Vito and Joe from Mafia Two, and um, it was and I just and I just find that amazing. Also, they actually had the materials to put the actual Vito and Joe characters into the end of the Mafia One when they go to Tommy's house to shoot him. But anyway. That's pretty much it guys and also before I do go I was going to make this a bit of a longer video and I was going to show you how Polly dies and all that but we all know how Polly dies in right this video is not really about Polly it's pretty much about playing as Tommy and when he obviously turned against the Mafia and turned rash and go behind Salieri's back and all that sort of stuff but my thoughts are, what are my thoughts of the game like I said a while ago probably one of the most badass games I played Back in 2020 when it first came out. I I done content of it constantly. And my mind was blown away. I absolutely love Mafia 1. If any of you still haven't played it. God damn it please do. Because it is worth it. The characters are amazing. The graphics are amazing. The gameplay is also amazing. Hell even the cutscenes are amazing. Play it. Because it is fantastic. But anyway guys, I'm going to go anyway, so this is my game review, so my thoughts of it, fantastic.
But anyway, it's been your boy Ninja Soldier. Leave a like if you enjoyed. If you're new, hit that subscribe or follow button or whatever you like to call it. And I'll see you guys at the next episode of streaming, podcast, premiere, etc. And cheer, guys. Ninja Vanish. Bye bye and take care.